Hello everyone, I'm Manchata Bandari of grade 11th. Hello everyone, I'm Shreya Salhotra of class 9th. Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi Shauki and I am in grade 10. Hello everyone, I am Vedika Kapoor of class 10 and we are the students of St. Mark Senior Secondary Public School, India. Our methodology was a qualitative research. Lot of surveys were conducted and interviews were done. We got to know that new innovations like telecounseling and new apps were introduced in the market. Mental health problems are still considered a social taboo. COVID-19 has had a lasting effect on everyone's mental health. Many renowned personalities have shared their mental issues during this period. The impact of COVID-19 pandemic has placed unparalleled demands on the modern healthcare system. The industry's response has vividly demonstrated its resilience and ability to bring innovations to the market quickly. But the crisis is far from over and the industry's innovation capabilities must continue to rise to the challenges presented by COVID-19. Notably, emotionally driven sharing of misinformation has featured prominently in this crisis fueling both confusion and irrational anxiety among the public. This has far-reaching health consequences with a direct impact on overloaded healthcare systems and an indirect impact on the mental health of public. Telemedicine and teletherapy were adopted. Demand for mental health increased drastically which resulted in disrupted services. Movements and social interactions were restricted. The people were scared stressed and feared. Survey results When we question people in the survey that has their child talk to them about his or her mental state, then around 43% people agreed, whereas 34% people disagreed with the same. When we question teenagers that how often have they been bothered by feeling down, hopeless or depressed, then around 60% of them replied that they feel depressed most of the time. When the doctors were questioned that has COVID-19 resulted in innovations in healthcare, then about 82% of them agreed with it, whereas 18% of doctors are unsure about it. Now let's have a look at the interviews we conducted. The next question I would like to ask is that were there any uh, healthcare innovations or mental health anxiety management during the pandemic? See, I would uh, not exactly call it an innovation, but what has happened because of the pandemic is that the acceptance of telecounseling and teleconsultation has gone up really. Do you think these innovations are serving their purpose in keeping people safe? Yes, definitely these innovations are uh, necessary. Uh, all these innovations are vital to our growth. Medicine is always, always constant, uh, always constant research. So uh, without all these research, we will not be able to progress and understand newer therapies and understand the changing. Uh, the virus is changing, so we are also supposed to change. My next question would be that do you suggest medications to only serious cases or uh, try to treat other patients with some exercises like meditation etc and how does that go about? Uh, well, we give non-pharmacological treatments in simple and uh, in simple cases and not that in severe cases. In severe cases, we give medications only, but uh, before we give any medicine, we keep a check on the number of times they visit us and how severe the case is. Ma'am, how did your mindset change after recovering from this deadly virus? I during the days. प्रॉब्लम काफी मेरे को डीपली रही और 20 दिन मेरे बहुत बुरे निकले जिससे मेरे को फैमिली की बड़ी सपोर्ट रही मेरे को और फॉर्चूनेटली गॉड मेरे पे ब्लेस्ड थे 
तो मेरा इलाज जो है घर पे ही हो पाया मैं हॉस्पिटल जाने की नौबत नहीं आई बहुत अच्छे डॉक्टर मेरे को यहाँ गुड़गांव में मिल गए थे उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट किया बड़ी अच्छी नर्स जिसने मेरी लुक आफ्टर की पर आ, मैं रात को सो नहीं पाती थी बड़ी प्रॉब्लम में रहती थी यही सोचती थी कि कब क्या बाहर निकल पाऊंगी अकेले रहने में बड़ा डिप्रेशन सा था बिल्कुल चाहे अपने घर में भी थी मैं बट ठीक है भगवान ने मेरे वो दिन निकाले और थैंक गॉड की मैं ठीक हो गई सबकी विशेष से और रूम से बाहर आई बट हेल्थ में मेरा बहुत असर हुआ उस चीज का उसके बाद से मुझको सिर्फ यही है कि हेल्थ कुछ भी हो हेल्थ अच्छी रहनी चाहिए आदमी की इम्यूनिटी स्ट्रांग होनी चाहिए किसी भी चीज के लिए हेल्थ है तो सब कुछ है A few interviews were conducted to study a topic more profoundly and practically. A school counselor was interviewed to comprehend the mental well-being and anxiety of students during this period. The psychiatrist said that prescriptions were given to serious cases only. A vast majority of individuals had suicidal thoughts. Crisis intervention and telepsychiatry were provided to them. The patient who was interviewed said coronavirus was consistent pressure for her. Since she had already been vaccinated, the seriousness of disease was quite low. She advises individuals to take medications prescribed by specialist and keep a positive mental attitude for a speedy recovery. For healthcare innovations, many specialists were interviewed. They said that resources were near exhaustion. As far as innovations are concerned, a lot of research was done. A major breakthrough was made when vaccines were made available for general public. The virus might turn into a seasonal disease and it might keep mutating, but as it does, so do we. Now presenting the case studies. The teenager noticed changes in herself like feeling suffocated, facing a difficulty in breathing, and at last discovering being an introvert. Socializing felt like climbing a mountain. Being constantly pressurized by schoolwork, her heart rate used to increase. No medications were taken by her. Neither did she consult a specialist. To distract herself, she started creating fantasies. The idea of sharing her feelings with her parents made her think that they might not understand her, but once she did, she realized that she felt lighter and better. The adult too felt suffocated, anxious, and didn't consult anyone. She also became a cleanliness freak as she was worried about her family contracting the virus. She sanitized everything constantly and stopped going out, making her family members change clothes. Take hot showers and sanitizing them whenever they came back to the house became a daily routine for her. Other behavioral changes were anger issues and loss of appetite. Fortunately, her case became stable when she started talking to her best friend and stepping out again. The adult and the teenager both felt suffocated and anxious. While the teenager was pressurized because of school work, the adult felt anxious because she was afraid that a family might get infected. They both stopped socializing. Neither of them felt any need to consult a specialist, and both of them felt lighter after talking to people who they loved and expressing themselves. This shows that this period has inflicted numerous changes on people which have made them stressed and anxious. conclusions mental illnesses are still considered a social taboo the professionals interviewed suggested that we still need to be vigilant all times majority of medical personnel state that there have been numerous innovations in the field of healthcare these innovations are considered to be permanent although many people suffer from various mental health problems majority of them have not found them serious enough to consult a specialist